Welcome Star Wars Force Arena players to this video. Um, so it's going to be a little bit laggy, I think, the, the game. So bear with me as I record using this um, emulator. So it's common knowledge right now that things like Bluestacks, for example, Nox, isn't working. And in this video, we're going to run through some emulators to see what is working and hopefully find solutions for you guys out there who are struggling right now to play the game and obviously missing out on the rewards and these kind of things. Um, so I'm on Droid 4X. I will leave links to all the emulators that are working below in the description here. So what I've done was I loaded the game up, downloaded it um, with Droid 4X. You need to mess about a little bit with the um, Google Play Store. It might take you a couple of attempts to find the game on Google Play. My first attempt, I couldn't find it. I had to restart the engine. And then it's like things synced up a little bit better. And then it was there. To, all the games were searchable, basically. So I did that. And then what I did was, if you've, if you've connected your, your account to um, your Facebook, um, you will be able to link your account to Facebook using the button there. Because I've just done that. And on my Facebook account, I've got this account linked to it. I had no idea what account was linked to my Facebook account, to be fair. I don't use Facebook much, and then I used it to link this account. Now, I'm not in a guild, as you can see. So let's jump into a guild. I see if I can just join one here, space thingies. I've just done a quick matchmaking search, and here we go. I'm in the guild chat. Now, this is something we couldn't do before. So I've joined this guild. I can now request cards and all these kind of goodness things. And now I can do 2v2 because I checked 2v2 earlier. Um, and as you will see, there's no matchmaking failed. Before you get the matchmaking failed display almost within two, three seconds and you go back to the main menu. So Droid 4X appears to be working. You do not need to run through the tutorial as I did. Um, as, as some people seem to need to do that. I just literally downloaded the game, clicked the top right hand icon, and I linked to my account. But I'll do more about that in, in some of the other players that are working right now. So that is Droid 4X. It's a bit laggy because I'm obviously recording. Um, and I run, this was one of the first emulators I would use before. And because it's so laggy uh, when I record, I don't use it any longer. Uh, let's jump into the next one. Welcome back. So this is the KO player that I'm using right now to record um, all my game footage. It does lag a little bit when you're playing the game sometimes, especially in 2v2 or 1 versus 1. Um, but unfortunately, that's the price you pay when you want to at least play the game right now. But the game is playable, and I carried over my settings from Bluestacks um, into the emulator itself, the resolution, the DPI, those kind of things. And quite honestly, I've managed to play all my accounts without any problems, touch wood. So you'll see here, I'm in my guild. Um, wait, we go past that. So we've got guild chats working, you can do your card requests. And also, I've been playing games because, I, although I haven't played many, um, but I've contributed 27 turrets um, for my one versus one this week. Uh, so th this is bl this is probably the best replacement you're going to have um, right now. And I didn't have to do anything particular. I didn't have to play through the tutorial. I just literally just loaded it up, added link to my account, and it was gone, done, bingo, beautiful. It worked. So until Netmarble. Um, offer a fix for the problem which I can't see coming because quite honestly it's not a major bug for them um, if it impacts then if, it, if it's a huge impact on their player base then that might be another problem for them to look at if they see a sharp decline in the data of people logging in to play the game then that will have an impact and they may address it but because it's what I'd call a game breaking bug um, I, I can't see them fixing it with that with until probably two, three weeks from now. Um, so Droid 4X and KO Player are probably the only two solutions we've got right now. I've tried Blue Stacks, I've tried Nox, and I've tried a variety combination. So for example, I'd play the tutorial and then I'd link my account, didn't work, I played tutorial, played a couple of one versus one games, linked my account, didn't work. Um, and that's from both of those emulators on Blue Stacks and Nox. 
I tried to use an APK from a different website, it still didn't work because obviously it has to connect to a Netmarble server. So whatever server solutions Bluestacks and Nox are using, Netmarble doesn't seem to like it in the recent update. Um, so right now, if you're struggling to get back into the game, I'd suggest you try these two and see how you get on. Now the problem in 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 um in all of this is that people are saying Netmarble might be banning emulators. I can't see them banning emulators. I see it as just a bug. Um, and the reason for that is that the game's been out over a year and a half. They've had emulators from day one. All their games run emulators. Um, Clash Royale, Clash, Clash of Clans, all the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, all the games predominantly use emulators. And for those games that do not use emulators for whatever the reason is, in most cases when you put a game in, it just won't start. It won't let you go into the shop, it won't let you go into the menu options, it, it just will not start, it's as simple as that. And a lot of those games aren't even displayed on that store sometimes either. Um, so that's my thinking behind it. I think it is a bug. Um, it's a nasty bug. Um, I have reached out to Net Ooh, reached out to Netmarble um, to say, look, you know, what are you guys going to do about this? Do you, are you aware of this problem? And see what they say. But obviously, it is Netmarble, and their customer service is not the best on the planet. It's probably one of the worst. Um, and it's just another nail, nail in the coffin for players who are on the edge about this game right now. The game really is teetering on the brink of just losing more players, and it can't really afford to do that right now. You know, you think like now I'm ranked 25 percent. Here I am from a 10 for 10, and it's just 12,000 players between me and number one. That's it, 12,000. And you think years ago that would be like double that, at least quadruple that number in 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 the in the ratings right now. So it is pretty pretty sad to be honest um, but there you go give those players a try let me know in the comments below if you get stuck and hopefully we can try and find a magic solution for players out there ko players free droid forex are both free um, just give them a go and see how you get on thanks for watching and may the force be with you